Welcome back, dear viewers. You're still watching Nal Cruz uh, from a very distinguished, special place here in Cairo, from the cathedral in Abbasiyah, dear viewers. Comprised of Muslim and Christian leaders and shared by Al-Azhar Grand Imam and the Pope of the Coptic Orthodox Church, the family house was established in October of the year 2011. Now that almost 10 years after the establishment of the house of the family, a senior Al-Azhar official is suggesting that it becomes a model to be emulated in the rest of the Arab world. The question of what it did achieve in Egypt becomes inevitable. And to know more about this, dear viewers, uh, we are, and about the family house, we are honored to host Asma Zaini, official of Foreign Relations and International Cooperation at Education Development Center of Al Azhar International Students. Uh, very good day, and it's a pleasure to have you with us in today's episode of Nile Cruise, and it's always uh, our utmost pleasure to have you with us. Uh, uh, how are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's totally fine to be with you uh, always. Okay, celebrating, of course, the Christmas and the New Year. We wish you a very happy uh, Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. Yes, I wish everyone watching us today a very happy New Year and a Merry Christmas for those who also are celebrating uh, this time. I'm uh, always happy to be in this uh, magnificent place. <laughs> so happy to be with you and to be here. Um, could you please tell us why was the family house established? Okay. Uh, the idea of establishing the family house goes back to the Grand Imam uh, when he was uh, on a visit for the Bobshnoudi III, offering his condolences on the death of uh, some Christians and the accident of uh, the Church of the Senate 2011. The idea came to the Imam and he uh, suggested the idea to Bobshnoudi and the idea was welcomed by His Holiness at that time and we, they discussed a lot of details until the family house, the Egyptian family house, was issued by the decision of the Prime Minister at that time. It came to light. Family house managed uh, to put an end to a number of sectarian disputes and to deal with the consequences of terrorist attacks. What was the latest dispute in which the family house interfered? Actually, uh, dealing with social matters was one of the main uh, concepts that the family house dealt with since its beginning. And the sectarian disputes is one of the biggest problems that facing the Egyptian community, especially in some areas like Upper Egypt and other areas. Uh, so the family house took the initiative to solve these, yani, could you could say, which unsolved problem in some communities because it is like stronger than a creed for some. Uh, they consider it a part of their dignity. Once they yani, face one of these problems, they take it seriously. They are not uh, yani, listening to any, some discussing whatever said to them. So the family house did a great effort to overcome this problem. Uh, we could see uh, other professors and uh, scholars and even some Christian figures meeting with uh, people who are, who are not able to discuss their ideas openly about this area of dispute, about being uh, so offensive, uh, not accepting the other, uh, of whatever religion, not accepting the other. So the family house really played a very remarkable role in this area, especially in, the, in Upper Egypt, I, I can and I mention number of incidents that were solved if were left, they could uh, uh, cause uh, disasters. But Alhamdulillah, they managed to solve it peacefully on, on, t on the two parts, Muslims or Christians. That's great. Uh, would you tell us about the steps taken in the popular level to promote the values of coexistence? Yes. Uh, the value of coexistence was also another of the main values that the family house uh, worked on. Uh, yes. Uh, the family house has like, like agreements with some of ministries and universities and public places like clubs and areas where they go to meet everyone to, uh, to, to gather children and uh, youth to listen to what they are saying about the importance of being uh, to live together in peace. Uh, we lived for a hundred years, Egyptians lived for a hundred years not discussing what their neighbors who are their their neighbors we have uh, muslims and christians living peacefully for years 
What happened to the Egyptian society lately? يعني disturbed the 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 feeling of peace that we enjoyed for years. So this is one of the main efforts that could be praised for the family house. They revived the feeling of coexistence that we we all are Egyptians. We live together. It's never you can go to any hospital. If you see a doctor, you never ask is a doctor uh, is a Muslim or Christian of to course. some of to schools, to universities, to very all public places. This is this value is one of the main values that the family house was successful to revive. Miss um, Asma, uh, the Egyptian family house also involves Muslim and Christian youths in activities that are not related to religion, such as charity, sports, arts, and etc. Would you tell us more about these activities and their significance? Some of the last events that the family house organized was related not not to a religious problem. We all of us know about the problem of increasing number of divorce uh, cases in all families, whether Muslim or Christians. This was an area which the family house managed to uh, t uh, to hold a lot of events in different places, like I told you before, in, in clubs, in uh, youth centers, in schools, in universities, for people to, to discuss this very serious problem which affected the whole Egyptian community lately. And also the, the issues of women, empowering of women and, uh, and giving them their full rights. This also another area which they managed to organize events a lot about. Where are the uh, main cities or places other than Upper Egypt that you feel that the family house made difference uh, with the, um, or for example, uh, women empowerment, uh, etc.? Uh, to mention Alexandria is yeah. a very active area for the family house, un organizing events for youth and for women especially. And also in Matruh, Marsa Matruh, there are I, I, um, about 19 headquarters, 19 branches for the family house in different Egyptian government rates. Of the most active are Matruh and Alexandria. And how do you evaluate the awareness of the uh, women in Matruh? Uh, it's improving. It's, it's not yet. It's not at the best case state, but it is improving. Thanks to the, 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 the campaigns that they are organizing every now and then, the events, the, the uh, like conferences and, and these events, especially for not, not fully educated women. Are these um, campaigns uh, through the family house? Part of them uh, in cooperation with some other authorities, yes. Some of them are in coordination May, uh, with the family especially house. Especially with some ministries and some non-governmental or organizations. Okay, perfect. Um, a family house organized uh, several meetings for youths in different governorates across Egypt to clarify the similarities between Islam and Christianity. Why is the family house keen with youth? Youth is future. Everyone is keen on youth because youth uh, is future. Uh, the youth have the right to, to understand fully that the Egyptian uh, state is, uh, is, is keen on them. Uh, taking care of youth is taking care of our future. Uh, the majority of Egyptian community are in the age of youth, uh, young, young men and young women. It's very important that they notice that they are at the heart of our country. Everyone is taking care of them. The, headed by President uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi, all effort is directed toward this youth. Okay, again, how do you evaluate the awareness of youth when it comes to the similarities between the Muslims and the Christians? In this area, much, much better. It's coming to be much, much better. Alhamdulillah. I um, noticed this. Or are this. they um, already aware of the similarities? Or are you having Not them fully aware, aware, but they are ready to improve. If they are tackled uh, correctly, they are addressed in a wise way, in a smart way, they can improve much better. Uh, Family House works on changing uh, misconceptions about the difference between Muslim and Christians through different demonstrations of unity that would gradually affect average citizens. Would you tell us more about this? If I were to mention, I would I wouldn't uh, only mention the efforts that are done for youth here in Egypt for Egyptians who are Muslim as Christians. I would praise the efforts that which are done for Egyptians outside of Egypt. The Ministry of Foreign of, of Egyptian outside, outside of Egypt yes. abroad abroad yes uh, the, the the Egyptian the second and third generation who are brought up uh, in other abroad. countries yes 
such as the United Kingdom, the United yeah, States, America, and uh, different parts of the world. Uh, Egypt is paying much attention to making them notice what is what has been done in Egypt for youth and for them in their con the, the countries they are li living there. Uh, the family house is taking part uh, in, in cooperation with some ministries and offering them a lot of uh, courses, training courses, events to, to make them connected to Egypt with its spirit. You know that here in Egypt there is something so special about Egyptian which is their spirit. As I told you, we live you know, for four years, we lived for years in in peace and coexistence, not discussing what we are doing to our uh, Muslim neighbors or Christian neighbors. They may, the youth who are brought up outside, maybe they miss this part. So the Egyptian state is keen on making them notice this difference, attaching them to their country more. And of course, here inside. Ms. Asma, of course, we all know that the um, Azhar University uh, and the uh, all uh, Muslim uh, sheikhs here in Egypt are responsible for exporting ex Islam to the entire world. The role of family house in this very important task, do you play any role? Of course, yeah. the, uh, uh, making the youth notice the difference what all these achievements that are, that are done in, in Egypt is, is duty of everyone, scholars, the religious. The role of the youth and the family house in exporting Islam and making people aware of Islam abroad, um, the family house plays this role? Yes, it, is, it plays this role perfectly. Let me mention something which is very important. The youth of other countries are here in ten thousands because we have they life. study at the Azhar University at Azhar University here. not only at the Azhar University at Azhar universities at the Azhar we have like uh, 50,000 international students from 137 countries this is a wealth that for sure we can we can yani, make them play a very effective role for Islam inside and outside when they go back to their countries this what the uh, the family house is playing a role uh, uh, in defending and trying to training these and, and giving them a lot of training about what they do when they go back they, not very uh, not very often but they do some of the effort uh, of course the main effort is done by al azhar officially but also the family house the egyptian family house is trying to to give a part in this perfect this implies on the students here, here in, in egypt. egypt when we come to discuss exporting islam yes. to the uh, entire world, the yes. role of the family house in exporting Islam to those that are abroad, not in Egypt. This those huge are not number, Egyptians. yes, this huge number of non-Egyptians is expected when they go back to spread the moderate ideas they they got from here. Plus, Al Azhar also is organizing organizing events directly to the Muslim youth all around the world, not only for our international students here. Uh, with uh, cooperate in cooperation with the Egyptian uh, embassies outside and some buddies, other buddies. Dr. Asma, from your point of view, uh, was the family house able to promote the principles of citizenship and co coexistence among Egyptians? Of course, immensely. Me myself, I benefited a lot of meeting uh, some Christian friends during some events that was or organized by uh, the family house. Um, I, I got a very dear friendship with them. Of course, the family house managed in, ha in, in settling uh, that feeling of, you know, of uh, only having friends of my uh, religion or, or my ideas. They, they, manage, they managed to do this. Okay. Uh, and do you think that this model, the family house, uh, should be emulated in the rest of the Arab world? Yes, it deserves to be emulated. It's m not me who is saying this. I hear this myself from, from some, the Arab, yes, from some, the Ar some Arab, Arab friends countries from other Arab yes, people. Especially people who suffered from this sectarian disputes in their countries. Okay, how facilitated is it uh, to do such a model? Um, in the Arab world? I believe they, they want to... And are there any obstacles that face? Uh, to, you mean to transfer the experience? Yes, of course. I believe they are willing to do this, but they, they are willing to do this uh, on... Here uh, at the Azhar, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, here at the Azhar University, they're willing 
to uh, promote this in the Arab world? Of course, Al Azhar is always willing to uh, to transfer experience about any kind of knowledge, any kind of experience to whoever willing to receive this. And most of Arab countries are very willing to receive that help, but they won't do to do this uh, on a very official level, on the right way, uh, so that they guarantee this, the, the experience when transferred, uh, it is successful. Perfect. Um, one last uh, question. Um, what are the most remarkable achievements of the family house? Uh, I, if I mention, they are a lot. Uh, as I told you, reviving the feeling of being all united. Uh, we are Egyptians who lived the, these hundreds of years, enjoying that atmosphere of peace. Me, myself, I am very happy to have very dear experience and very dear friendship with some of the very special Christian uh, friends. Yeah, I can mention the situation which it, in which they helped me in a way that no other one could help in their in their place. They when they they love you, they offer you everything and to the degree of their life. F the family house by by gathering the the Muslim and the Christian youth, they give them the chance to live that feeling that you can enjoy the love of whoever you offer him love. We always, uh, of course, we wrap up this interview with love and peace always between all. Muslims and Christians uh, in Egypt and of course all over the world uh, wishing you a very uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Dr. Asma Zaini, official of Foreign Relations and International Cooperation, Cooperation uh, at Education Development Center for Al Azhar International Students. We thank you so much for joining us in today's episode of Nile Cruise. Thank you so much uh, for sharing this very special occasion from a very special place and of course thank you very much for your informative knowledge and uh, we always be happy to have you with us in, t in every episode of Nile Cruise. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything. It's always a pleasure to be here. See you, inshallah. Dear viewers, this was the segment of Nile Cruise. Stay tuned. We'll be back again.